And now I'd like to welcome onto the show another very special lady without whom Grounded would not exist. Our next guest is a trained ballerina whose grace seeps into every aspect of her life. Committed family woman, daughter, sister, devoted and doting wife, and mother to two beautiful children, one of whom is our Ina Anak. She's a God-centered, patient, compassionately philanthropic, and kind-hearted woman. One of the most giving people I know who is quick to act, especially after calamity strikes. She's a stylish businesswoman with credentials in different aspects of the fashion industry from retail to model management. She's a diligent, resourceful, and resilient force of nature and exudes elegance, even in a pair of jeans and a hoodie. I've seen it at my bachelorette. <laughs> She's the organized brains and beauty behind it all and the partner Marika and I are so, so blessed to have. Everyone give it up for Grounded's co-founder and operations director, Karina Arenas. Woo! Thank you, Bianca Wow. <laughs> what an intro. Oh my god, um, she has the best intros. <laughs> can you tell us how you managed to join our merry little Grounded trio? Well, um, we've been friends for years already. I mean, we go way back. But I feel like the universe brought us together. Um, for me personally, it was at a point in my life where... I felt I was transitioning. Right. Um, I recently just gave birth that time. And it was that time that, I think it was at that time that you guys visited me to see Santi. Yes. yes. Yeah. He was and like, two, like how old? A few months old. Yeah. 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 And Mariko was telling us about Grounded. Well, initially, I didn't know that I was going to be this <laughs> invested in it. But <laughs> thank you, Marika. I'm really happy that you even thought of me being part of this. Um, so, yeah. Why do you think this platform is so important in today's world? Well, you know how Marika always talks about being authentic? I think it's so important for like this time and age because you know how everything's so curated. It's so scripted right. on social media. Polished. Yes, very polished that you don't even know what's really happening behind the scenes or what's really happening like in the real lives. Although it's important to highlight your achievements also. I think it's also as important to be real mm -hmm. um, kind of like keeping a balance between yeah, things basically that's the word balance for everything like in all aspects of your life uh, marika you mentioned earlier that grounded is an arts and wellness service provider what can you tell us more about this yeah so an arts and wellness service provider because as a as a service prov provider we don't we're not just a studio like a yoga studio we do curate different types of workshops and programs that's rooted in arts and we, uh, we use art as a tool mm -hmm. to get to a positive mental and physical state. So we have workshops for children, we have workshops for adults. Mm -hmm. So far we've done meditation workshops, we've done art through mindfulness workshop. We are now in the works of curating a journal writing therapy workshop, which we're so excited about. Super. And yeah, it's just curating and offering these new types of services to heal, to learn, to self-improve. That's the service side. We also do have our project management side. Mm -hmm. We've been hired and contracted a bunch of times for our services, mm -hmm. our arts management Grounded services. recently worked with the Lovis Project. Right? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And what is wellness to both of you personally? Let's start with Karina. One word comes to mind, balance. So it's balance in basically everything. And I feel like it starts with your mind, your intention. I forget who, but someone once told me that you have to start your day with um, positive intention for you to be able to go through the whole day. So true. Yeah. Avoiding toxic like first thing when you yeah. like when you wake up instead of just scrolling through yes. Instagram and so true and I'll add to that it's not mm -hmm. even just when you start your day um, some people even like to say the night before mm. you can kind of pre-pave the way into your next day and set the intention of yes. think about what you plan to do and you know put that good energy there ahead of time exactly. it's kind of like yeah yeah setting your mind to it and being firm about it yeah yeah, um, yeah that, that was really well said I, I i totally agree that wellness is really about achieving or finding balance and i i think it's a lifelong journey like there's always room to learn and mm -hmm. room to grow and our bodies are aging so we really need to 
you know, step it up as as we get older. As time moves on. Yeah, as time moves on. The work's not, never done. Yeah, yeah, and we're not as young as we are before. Although, um, I do believe that um, as we get older, we get wiser and we get more in touch with our bodies. So wellness is really just being in a positive physical and mental state and yeah. being in touch with your body and it's a unity between mind body and soul yeah as mothers because both of you are mothers why do you think it's so important for children to learn uh, values at such an early age like the value of collaboration and confidence because you mentioned um, grounded does workshops for mm -hmm. kids right why do you think it's so important formative years are just like it's the basis of what we become as adults um, you know there's this saying that um, our adulthood is actually just basically time spent fixing our childhood, our childhood. Yeah. It, it's, a, yeah, it's like a new <laughs> age quote i heard somewhere or someone say it i think a friend of mine but it, it does make sense because you know all those things that we learn or that happen to us in childhood it, we bring into our adulthoods that's why it's so important now to really talk to kids about being mindful, mm -hmm. being in touch with their feelings and emotions and being aware. And so they can also claim their power and you know not give away their power as they get older. They need to know their rights and mm -hmm. just being aware and identifying emotions and whether they're negative or positive. Having them express themselves and you know using creativity as that tool, I think, it's just a really amazing, fun, and powerful tool. Absolutely agree. Um, and I agree with you. At a certain age, children are like sponges. Like, you know how they absorb mm -hmm. energy, um, knowledge, you know, a holistic kind of, you know, education. There's not only one way to approach, like teaching them only one way to do things. I think it's important that you allow them to explore. And discover for themselves. Exactly. And honing their own, you know, different talents and skills. Right. Not everyone was able to cope or like as thrive. Well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's the word, thrive. Right. Um, that's why I think like teaching them how to be mindful and getting to know themselves better is a great way to have them grow up to be, you know, more well-rounded. Yeah. Humans. Yeah, to, just to add to that, um, yeah, the school schools nowadays are maybe they're better. We have more progressive mm -hmm. options, and uh, the teachers are probably better and more aware because we grew up with terror <laughs> teachers, <laughs> the old school way, textbook, and, uh, textbook, <laughs> and kind of like one size doesn't fit all. We know that now, and there was a time there were there was lots of labeling, mm -hmm. and I think you know words have so much power, and sometimes we can't control what goes on in school. Words definitely hold yeah, energy. You know, if your teacher tells you like you're ADD or a doctor tells mm -hmm. you this and then the kid will say no or That's if they right, say ADD, you're, and then you're not good enough yeah. you're you're dumb or yeah. you they right. take it to uh, heart yes, and, and yes so I think it's important to have these workshops and programs outside of school to kind of complement what's yes. happening right uh, daily yeah and it's also mm -hmm. a good way to um, release your energy and socialize yeah and it's so fun it's so, so fun, fun being around kids yeah mm -hmm. and you know when we did the workshop with kids it's really different for them they don't they don't really learn these type of things in schools mm -hmm. like recognizing when you're sad so the first workshop was called when i feel sad mm -hmm. taught by teacher nikki, nikki ocean, ocean. Mm -hmm. and she read a story about when i feel sad about mm -hmm. like yeah. being sad and that yeah. it was okay because yeah. sometimes you know especially i feel bad for little boys they say don't don't cry you should boys don't cry yeah. but but they do everybody does everybody gets sad and everybody has a right to express these emotions and they you know we we kind of wanted to tell them it's okay and mm -hmm. and can i just add sometimes yeah. we are also guilty of that you yeah. know sometimes we'll get, we'll tell our child like stop crying mm -hmm. yeah. but then why like let them cry because you know maybe what they're going through is painful mm -hmm. or but it's also good um, in the workshop nikki was able to teach them how to self-soothe and mm -hmm. how to comfort themselves and through know art that through and art and through yeah. different ways yeah. of like decorating your home things that bring comfort to you yeah, like how creating your own space makes it, you feel safe yeah mm -hmm. which love is that. so important i love that too can you both share with us what keeps you grounded in life i think me it's really um, my relationships 
with yourself with myself with god and with family and friends like it's my relationships that really keep me grounded even with this company it's it's family it's friendship and you know when you go back to just trying to be of service to yourself and to others it really keeps you grounded because it's really not about you it's about loving others and relationship relationships with others connecting with people and sharing the gifts the god-given talents we have with the world so yeah it's really people like you guys inspire me every day you guys inspire me too Mm -hmm. oh same here (laughs) karina what keeps you grounded similar to marika's answer it's god my family um for me family is very important um my kids especially they really keep me grounded and my husband and my kids they really inspire me every day um in different ways you guys Grounded has really helped me <laughs> be grounded. Me too. <laughs> I guess the values I've learned the most was balance and respect. Keeping those two in mind really um, helps me set my mood, set my approach and intention for everything that I do. So That's beautiful. I kind of have the same answer, but I'm also going to add having um, just a a regular gratitude practice mm. because I find even on especially on days when things are really hard I just have to you know you sit yourself down and you remind yourself that there's still so much to be grateful for mm-hmm. even on the rainiest day so and that includes you guys and everyone listening and watching right now perfect because I usually say this at the end of every podcast but since I have you guys today please let our awesome audience know how they can reach us through Instagram Facebook and our grounded website You can reach us at um, our email, contact at groundedph.com. You can check our Instagram page out, although it's in the works with our, in collaboration with our awesome branding partners, Pino. Pino, Pino, thank you. Thank you so much. And Facebook, Facebook, Grounded Grounded PH. PH. Um, Our website, did I say our website? Mm -hmm. Mm www.groundedph.com. Yeah. We look forward to seeing everyone in our future workshops and events. Thank you so much for joining me, Karina and Marika. Not Thanks, that you yeah. had a choice. <laughs> I look forward to making more magic with you guys. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.